<clears throat> right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in this true doctrine that's being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth who are in hope of mercy and salvation, all right, during the time of Jacob's trouble, which is fastly approaching, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth, okay? Um, this will be fairly quick. I only have a couple of scriptures that come to mind. And, um, you know, if the Spirit gives me utterance, I'll, uh, you know, bring out whatever the Spirit uh, has me bring out. But uh, I'm going to play this whole little clip. What this clip is, is the director of the F FBI, all right, um, briefing uh, the Department of Homeland Security uh, the, it is there as well. They're briefing uh, senators of the, uh, I believe, the U.S. Congress, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But they're basically, this was a three-hour um, briefing that took place uh, yesterday, October 31st. And um, they basically... Uh, are letting letting you know, all right? Letting letting everybody know, all right? What's getting ready to go down uh, here in the states, okay? And it and it will go down. We in the time to where the heavenly Father is getting ready to let judgment uh, pour out, okay? To the likes that uh, we have never seen on. Uh, U.S. soil, okay? So without any further ado, let's listen. Sure, volume up. Discussions about uh, the most pressing national security threats that, and what we face and, and what we're doing to tackle them are always important, but it seems especially well-timed this year with the dangerous implications the very fluid situation in the Middle East has for our homeland security. The reality is that the terrorism threat has been elevated throughout 2023, but the ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans in the United States to a whole nother level. Since the horrific terrorist attacks committed by Hamas against innocent people in Israel a few weeks ago, we've been working around the clock to support our partners there and to protect Americans here at home. We assess that the actions of Hamas and its allies will serve as an inspiration the likes of which we haven't seen since ISIS launched its so-called caliphate several years ago. In just the past few weeks, multiple foreign terrorist organizations have called for attacks against Americans and the West. Al-Qaeda issued its most specific call to attack the United States in the last five years. ISIS urged its followers to target Jewish communities in the United States and Europe. Hezbollah has publicly expressed its support for Hamas and threatened to attack U.S. interests in the Middle East. And we've seen an increase in attacks on U.S. military bases overseas carried out by militia groups backed by Iran. Here in the United States, our most immediate concern is that violent extremists, individuals or small groups, will draw inspiration from the events in the Middle East to carry out attacks against Americans going about their daily lives. That includes not just homegrown violent extremists inspired by a foreign terrorist organization. You heard that? Homegrown violent extremists expired by the T-word organizations, all right? He didn't leave that out, okay? 
they going to link. You already know, man. We going to be placed in that same category. All right? And with that whole shit that went down with the WFI in Chicago, all right? You know, the water, you know, to your how about Shimmy how shy, it didn't jump off to be anything uh, real, all right? Even though, you know, they got into that scuffle, which they could have avoided, all right? Which I uh, recorded uh, something on that, uh, probably uploaded today. Um, you know, there's no way they could you could justify what, you know, what went down, all right? It wasn't wise, and um, you know, from the looks of it, they, 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 you know, they, they can't take wise counsel, okay. But the point being, he said, even homegrown, all right. You gotta know, man. Just like uh, the apostles, the elders have been saying. Right, Esau has uh, his hands in the backs of some of these uh, Israelite groups out here, man. All right, he has the, he has his hand in their back for them to cause mischief. Okay, little agents amongst these other groups. Not all of them. All right, or of these groups are are even aware. All right. But Esau has always done that, okay? You look at the movie uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, all right? He gets our own kind to get them uh, aboard with his bullshit so that he can blame it, blame us all. But the elect are blameless, all right? But also domestic violence extremists targeting Jewish or Muslim communities. We've already seen that with the individual we arrested last week in Houston who'd been... He said targeting the uh, small hats uh, community. In New York, there was a guy I had uploaded, I believe I attached the video um, to one of my videos, if I'm not mistaken. But there was a... Uh, a New Yorker that was recording all these derelict baskets taped to light poles or, or chained to light poles within so-called JEW uh, communities, all right? All exactly the same, all chained up with the same type of lock, all right? With no derelict around to, to claim that it's theirs, okay? Now, since I think I've seen that they've removed them, but that doesn't take away the threat of what this uh, director is talking about, all right? We know what the devil is up to. We know that the devil always creates the boogeyman so that he can pass more legislation and bring more control, all right? And once it hits uh, the, the U.S. soil, as he's saying, you best believe that's going to be the, uh, the, the the signal for Jacob's trouble, okay? Because all this is happening for Jacob, to punish Jacob, all right? Let me get that real quick in the book of uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and then we'll listen to the rest of that and bring out some more scriptures, all right? Jeremiah chapter 30. Um, and uh, we'll start at, uh, we'll start at verse 5, all right? I'll start at 4, all right? It says, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear and not of peace. Okay? 
ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness and what can cause this type of behavior to happen all right to the people of, of, of the US especially Jake what this uh, director is talking about and we talking about a, a tax that's going to be on a whole nother level it's going to make 9-11 look like a walk in the park okay <clears throat> uh, verse 7 a loss for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. All right? Meaning the elect. All right? The elect going to be saved out of this trouble. But two-thirds, you may be caught up in the trouble. Caught up in going to these football games, basketball games, uh, these public gatherings, concerts, where they can afflict major pain. All right, and blame it on the boogeyman. All right, this is the type of uh, uh, travail that's coming. All right, it's gonna come at an instant. It ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get this. Is your warning of these things to happen? There will be no warning in real time. All right, just like that, limbs blown off, you know, buildings exploding who knows but it will be terrible all right and this is why there's this it was a three-hour briefing all right with homeland security and the alphabet people or them alphabet agencies all right let's finish this out studying how to build bombs and posted online about his support for killing jews and with the tragic killing of a six-year-old Muslim. Remember what? I remember vocab was Advent on. So you saying you're going to do this to the J.E.W. people? When he bring you goofies that go to his show. All right. You go to his shows and he's sitting up there uh, uh, trying to get you to confess with your mouth so that they can edit. And, and show the world that 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 we are the problem to the to the so-called JEWs, all right. And a lot of you go on there to be, you know, because you are uh, uh, agents. Okay, a lot of it's a whole lot of wicked, weird activity going on out there, man. And I love the position Yahweh by Shimei Havashai has put us in, beginning with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, putting the spirit on them to, to put us in this position to where we're basically watching everything. You know? We're watching everything and we're able to see everything as it's coming. All right? And, and, and blameless at the same time. All right? You know, Lord will to the end. Boy, in Illinois, what we're investigating is a federal hate crime. But as I said a few moments ago, on top of the homegrown violent extremists, the domestic violent extremists, right, we also cannot and do not discount the possibility that Hamas or another foreign terrorist organization may exploit the current conflict to conduct attacks here on our own soil. We have kept our sights on Hamas and have multiple ongoing investigations into individuals affiliated with that foreign terrorist organization. And while historically our Hamas cases have identified individuals located here who are facilitating and financing Hamas's terrorism overseas, we're continuing to scrutinize our intelligence to assess how the threat may be evolving. But it's not just Hamas. As the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism, the Iranians, for instance, have directly... He's hinting on who the boogeyman is, who they gonna blame this thing on. 
hence Joel the second chapter uh, the 20th verse for I will remove the northern army from you and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hinder, and his hinder part toward the utmost sea alright and that's referring to uh, Saudi Arabia okay with their face toward the East Sea is talking about the Persian Gulf alright the Persian Gulf is facing is, is, is them facing and going into Iran and now we're seeing uh, Iran in, in, in talks of this war alright Or by hiring criminals mounted assassination attempts against dissidents and high-ranking current and former U.S. government officials, including right here on American soil. And along those lines, Hezbollah, Iran's primary strategic partner, has a history of seeding operatives and infrastructure, obtaining money and weapons, and spying in this country going back years. Given that disturbing history, we are keeping a close eye on what impact recent events may have on those groups' intentions here in the United States and how those intentions might evolve. For example, the cyber targeting of American interests and critical infrastructure that we already see conducted by Iran and non-state actors alike, we can expect to get worse if the conflict expands, as will the threat of kinetic attacks. But across the country, in each and every one of the FBI's 56 field offices, we are addressing these threats with a sense of urgency. Among other things, that means working closely with our federal, state, and local partners through our FBI-led joint terrorist task forces to ensure that together we stay laser-focused on mitigating threats. Taking an even closer look at existing investigations and canvassing our sources to improve our intelligence and sharing that information with our partners and doing all we can, working with our partners to protect all houses of worship and people of all faiths here in the U.S. Bottom line, we're going to continue to do everything in our power to protect the American people and support our partners in Israel. Thanks for watching. So there you have it. Right, that was just a little five-minute clip of a three-hour uh, briefing, okay? And like he said, man, they're, they're, they they on high alert for, uh, you know, T-E-R-R-O-R threats, all right, here on the U.S. soil. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. All right? And that's what a whole T E double -R, R O R threat or attack is all about. It happens when you least expecting it. All right? You're getting the warning from the prophets, all right? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai set up the real watchman uh, for Israel, the prophets, all right? And we've been warning you of these things, all right, for the longest, all right? Beginning with the apostles and elders, all right? Been warning of these type of, type of things for the longest. Now Esau is on... NBC News and all other mainstream news channels telling you that these things are a threat and we are on high alert here on U.S. soil. All right? So if we get out of 2023 without anything happening, you best believe 2024. And even if we, if even, you know, say we, there, there nothing does happen in 2023, the rest of the year. 2024 gonna be off the chain, all right? 
and it, and, it, and it more than likely gonna start off with a with a bang, all right. So, just as uh, birds are, are are caught, as as the scripture said, caught in the snare, and fish in the evil net, so are man uh, snared in the evil time that shall fall upon them suddenly. All right. You got all these scoffers popping out of nowhere, some goofy big ape nigga, little young ass dude, uh, uh, talking shit about the Israelites and making little parody videos on his on his uh, uh, little channel. The Lord gonna put all that to, to it's gonna come to a halt. All the bullshit and plan is going to come to a halt when bodies and, and limbs get to uh, being blown off. All right? My mama worked there. My mama was walking home, you know? And, 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 and no longer. Okay? Let's get one more scripture going to the book of Ephesians. All right? Yeah, we in them times, man. All right? The Most High is getting ready to release the angels of judgment, angels of judgment, angels of death out here, man, upon his people. All right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter five, uh, verse 14. It says, wherefore, he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. All right. Come out of that dead state that you're in, Jake. Thinking that America's finna bounce back, you know, you got time to get your bag up and create generational wealth for you and your loved ones, man. That's that's all a goddamn uh, a, a goofball's mindset in these times, man. Okay, you sleep thinking like that, and thinking like that gonna get you caught in that evil net. All right, in these evil times, that's gonna come upon the people suddenly because you ain't watching. All right, you constantly waking up every day with your mind on uh, making your pockets fatter. All right, without making your faith fatter. All right, building up your faith for when these things come upon the earth. All right, because there will be no 911. You know, you ain't going to be able to uh, call uh, uh, public services to help you out with anything, man. All right? We talking about a total shutdown of the American way. And you people here in America have been totally spoiled, all right, on on the uh, on the ways of life here in this in this society, man. All right, somebody get a uh, uh, shot, you can uh, call nine one one, and the EMT will be there to pick them up. You know, try to uh, resuscitate them, bring them back, or he might be. Uh, DOA, all right? But you have the luxuries of calling these type of, uh, you know, public service, uh, uh, you know, emergency ser services that'll be there in less than uh, seven minutes. What's going to happen when, when, when the emergency services ain't coming? You know, you're going to be laying there with, with, with a body in your arms, crying your eyes out right screaming help and ain't no help coming okay this is the time we in prepare your mind for it man uh verse uh verse 15 see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise okay this we supposed to be walking as wise as possible in these times all right. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. All right. And we understand or we should understand what the will of the Lord is, man. All right. Babylon the Great is going to go down through violence, pursuing the Revelation, the 18th chapter. Thus, with violence, 
shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, all right? And once the violence kicks off, it ain't going to stop. And I'm talking about violence to where many bodies are dropped. Real violence, not no scuffle with a bunch of goofy-ass Palestinians, all right, that could have been avoided, all right? That got, that got one of your men uh, wig split and he was leaking, okay? Not that type of violence. That, not that little weak-ass high school brawl type violence. No, we talking about violence to where bodies is going to be dropped. Knives and, and guns are drawn and, and, and explosions go off type violence. Okay? That's the type of violence that the Lord is going to bring Babylon the Great down with. All right? And it's going to start from within. You heard what the director was just talking about. They on high alert for these things to start happening. Okay? And Jake playing. Here it is, we read it in the scriptures, and Jake still think it ain't real. But Esau showing you, he just told you that it's real, and, and, and we on high alert. So you better be on high alert in the spirit, Jake. So call the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Lord will us edifying to the hopeful elect, and we on to the next video. Shalom.